الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا وجعلنا النهار معاشا ويقول سبحانه وتعالى وهو الذي جعل لكم الليل لباسا والنوم سباتا وجعل النهار نشورا this ayat and many others refers to night, sleeping time, and daytime. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the night. The darkness covers us like a garment. So to prepare us for sleep where you get the rest. And he made the day bright so you wake up and you go to work and you run your affairs. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set this life. At night, time to sleep, and during the day, time to work. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul kama rawa Sakhr ibn Wada'a radiyallahu an Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma barik li ummati fi bukuriha Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua to his ummah, us with the baraka for those of us who start early Bukuriha, the early birds, as we put it. Those who pray Fajr in Jama'ah, we're talking about men, and they do their adhkar and then they go to work. They are blessed, their time is blessed, and their sustenance is blessed. Most of the problems we have, especially the stress, the worry, the fatigue, all of that relates to no baraka in our rizq. If your rizq is not blessed, you're not going to make enough money, you're not going to get what you want, you're going to be sad, you're going to be working extra hard, and you're going to have a miserable life and even your age, the time that you spend is not even fun. Why? Because you don't know how to live with the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this life. You live otherwise, the way you want. You sleep in the morning because it feels good. Yet the Prophet وسلم, said, wake up, pray the Fajr, and this is the best time. In fact, in the hadith, another hadith, the Prophet وسلم, yani the meaning in this, uh, some of the Sahaba understood this, that the barakah, or rather the rizq, is distributed in the morning early. Some of the righteous predecessors said, I'm surprised how people sleep in the morning and still get provision. عَجِبْتُ لِأَقْوَامٍ يَنَامُونَ فِي الصَّبَاحِ كَيْفَ يُرْزَقُونَ How? Because this is the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger blessed. He made dua. And the dua of the Prophet ﷺ is accepted. It's like reality. That's why in another hadith it says بُورِكَ لِأُمَّتِي فِي بُكُورِهَا My Ummah's time in the morning is blessed. In the first hadith, he made the dua, 
the second hadith, it's already blessed. <coughs> the beginning of the day is like the beginning of your life. If the person at young age doesn't produce and work and plan and study, he ruins his life, basically. If the first hour of the morning you did not start it right, you ruined your whole day. Most of the people, if yani, you have, yani, especially like uh, farmers and such, from the morning until noon, if you don't really produce the rest of the day, you hardly do anything or you get any production. For those people who do business and stuff like that, not like any official job and all that, the morning time is the most productive time. Take your weekend, for instance. Wake up at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock and see how much you accomplish. Nothing or hardly anything. You will be saying, I don't know, the weekend is gone and I haven't done anything. Because you don't know how to invest the weekend. If you wake up in the morning, you pray the Fajr and you do your work and then you take a nap and all that, you will have a wonderful weekend and very blessed weekend. The morning is like spring. We said in a report for the companions, it's a, a weak hadith to some scholars, but the meaning is uh, correct, which is, Shita winter is the spring of the believer. What is the meaning spring? The best time, the most beautiful time. Morning is the Rabi of the day. It's the most productive, most important, most blessed time of the day. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it. This is how naturally you find the people who are used to pray in Fajr and staying up and doing what they need to do, they see it like it's the best time of their day. That's the real time that they feel that they can sit with the family in the weekend or days off, sit with the family and it's blessed. It's like you're used to wake up for Fajr and do that. Even the weekend, you don't want to sleep because you feel like you will not accomplish anything. We need to pay attention to how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us guidance in this life. He's the one who created us. Doesn't he know whom he created? He created us and he gave us this universe to live and to enjoy. He gave us rules and things if we go by, we will have a wonderful, perfect life. Why the Prophet ﷺ put the reward of Hajj and Umrah if you stay making dhikr after Fajr until sunrise? Why this much reward? Is it a wasted hour of your day? It is your day. It is the most blessed hour of your day. It's the hour that is going to help you make up so many things in short time and perfect so many things in short time and gain so many things in short time because of that. This is evident for the people who live by the command and respect and love the command and believe in the command. We look at serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes as, as it's a waste of time. It's like, uh, you know, you're in a hurry, you're in a rush to do something, you say, go ahead, brother, pray to Raka'ah to facilitate your life and to make things easy for you. No, 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 brother, I don't have time. You know, I gotta go, I gotta go. And actually, you do have time for two minutes. Those two minutes can make so many things happen. Just like I gave an example before. You're rushing for work, you're going to work, and you are late, and you don't know traffic and all of that. And you say, yeah, the Prophet ﷺ, when times get tough, he used to first pray. So you pray. Signals in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Traffic in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your boss in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change the 
hour or half an hour that you want to drive to make it 20 minutes because everything is so smooth. Just like one time uh, you tried it and it turned out, I says, where is the traffic? SubhanAllah, it turned out a holiday. <laughs> but to me, I don't know. And I'm running and I'm trying to catch up and everything. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it. You go to work, your boss is not there or dies. Just like the guy who wanted uh, sentenced to death, him and few others, the king has a horse he loves so much. So this young man is enthusiastic and he's optimistic too. He kept saying, I want to see the king, I want to see the king and insisted and finally the king met him. What? He said, Your Honor, I know how much you like horses and, uh, and uh, you have the most beautiful horse. Can you imagine if you have a horse that flies? You would be the only king who has a horse that flies. I can train your horse to fly. Just give me six months. <laughs> the king is like, it's a joke, but he loves the horse too much. He said, what am I losing? Nothing, nothing. Let him, let, let it be alive. But so he gave it to him. His friend said, what did you do? He said, I'm going to trade his horse to fly. He said, you crazy? He's not going to fly. I said, okay, you'll be dead tomorrow and I'll be training the horse for six months. Maybe the horse dies. Maybe the king dies. And maybe he flies. You never know. <laughs> Look at optimism. Yani all of them, at least two of them valid. Sah? The king might die and the horse might die in six months. So he will not die. He will not be sentenced to death. You need to be believing in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and always optimistic that your life will go good. It's not just optimistic, but do that. So live your life, inshallah. Pray Fajr in Jama'ah. Make your dhikr. Go to work early and see how your life change and how your feeling will change inshallah allahumma barik li ummati fi bukuriha this is the dua of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the blessing of the day for those people who start their day early and continue with that subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi